What's up guys, Mithy here. Got another video for you. It's been a while. I'm going to go ahead and explain why so many people on social media and YouTube are claiming Blizzard is dead, the gaming industry is dying, and there's nothing really fun out on the market. Besides the fact that all of those claims are 100% true, I'm going to share with you my story, my experiences, and why I'm deleting Battle.net. You know, Activision here, they're trying to save their own ass by running Blizzard into the ground. Blizzard doesn't have any more developers to fire, so I don't know where they're going to get all this money from because all their games are cash grab or dead. You know, this whole entire freaking thing here is buy our game, pay our money, give us money. Hearthstone, dead for a while. Heroes of the Storm, pay to play the character you want cash grab destiny 2 social media video game uh, that's the best way to describe it here you don't need to buy the game your friends don't need to buy the game just hanging on discord watch netflix and chill is not worth it call of duty same thing no one cares it's social media online in a video game form but their main two video games overwatch and world of warcraft have officially died in my opinion and in a lot of people's opinions and why all these videos are coming out overwatch here it's you log on it's pvp based everything's pvp you log on once a week or so to get nine wins to get some loot boxes so you can dress up your characters and play pretty pretty princess you know comp died ctf died no one plays it 3v3 it's always one person trying to carry their one brand new friend that doesn't know how to do anything. So this really needs to be, you know, red x and then put two because it's 2v3. One person's new. They don't know what they're doing. Uh, 1v1, limited duel. Who's got name bot? If you got name bot, you got all your nine wins for the week. Congrats. You can go play your actual old video game. That's actually fun. Mystery Heroes turned into Quick Play. If you're going to maybe have a chance at winning a game, you might as well try and get a chance to get three of them lined up to get a loot box. Ridiculous. Comp. So many people complain about comp. It's not even funny. It's supposed to be skill-based, you know, competitive. If you don't play X amount of games on their video game, you lose your rating. It's not really comp anymore. It never really has been. And now it's first now coming into light, and that's pretty sad, too. It's really the only thing you got in Overwatch going on. World of Warcraft. This is a fun game, except for now they fired all their developers. They're spoon-feeding content to the players. The raid's incredibly too freaking easy. Everything just wants to be handed to the player. You know, congrats, you didn't do anything. Here's an achievement. I got a ban for six months here, Thursday, July 11th. Because I was farming an NPC trying to get rep because that's the only way to get rep in the game is one of two ways. One, scaling, you messed up your own game and you get one-shotted by an NPC. Two, you go back to the old world, you farm an NPC, doesn't give a lot of rep, but that's why you're doing it for so long. And people want to come, they're playing their little alts because that's what the game's about now. No one cares about your main as long as you're playing an alt. They don't want to level in Booty Bay. Booty Bay is overcrowded. If you're in another zone and they come to quest, they'll report you. Because you're in their way. Because you're playing an MMO online video game. You're going to run into other people. I got reported. I talked to a GM. I logically talked to him and said, look, you program the way the game is. If you kill this NPC, you get rep. I need rep for this achievement. And they said, you know what? No problem. No problem whatsoever. You're good. Come on the next day after work, six-month ban. Because the GMs are Nazis and they will lie to you. They don't actually help you either. They tell you to go to wowhead.com. If you've been playing since vanilla, you know more than what Wowhead really knows. Because Wowhead's just Wikipedia. But none of those people got banned for rep grinding the same rep that I got. And they've been doing that for nine years. 
But yet now is the time to make a standpoint when your game is dying is the time to start banning your loyal customers. You know, we're going to say, oh, well, we're going to cut back on these gold farmers. The people selling runs, selling raids. Nah, still happens 24 seven. You know, these people have like 8 million accounts, the friends account, they'll log on, they'll sell runs and dungeons and, you know, a, they're telling me I cheated because I broke the terms of service, but you got people profiting off a game that they did not make terms of service violation. They got people boosting other characters to false represent how good they are at the game. Boom. Number two. But you know what? It's better to just ban the people that aren't playing alts. So congratulations, Blizzard. Your stock dropped 98%. Hopefully after this video drops another 98% and your stock is worth less than the percentage wise that you can get old mounts from old dungeons and raids 0 0.01 i want to see it become penny stock okay that's why i'm making this video also because you think you can just get away with this it's not going to happen so many gamers are outraging so many players are making valid points and blizzard chooses not to fix it or their cfos and ceos have no way of fixing it because they don't actually make the games. I'm going to go back to play PlayStation 2. I'm going to get my retro game on. I hope y'all follow suit. You know, heed the warning in this video. If you watched all the way here, thank you. You know, I'm not going to ask for subs, like, dislike. I don't care. I don't make a lot of videos. I deleted my channel at one point in time. It's all good, man. It's all good. So, y'all have a nice day if you made it this far. Get your retro game on, Nintendo style.